This appeal is about the 80% relief which charities enjoy from business rates on premises which they use for charitable purposes. The ratepayer, Nuffield Health, is a registered charity. Its purposes are to advance, promote, and maintain health and health care. It operates a large number of gyms, private hospitals, and clinics. One of those is a gym facility at Merton Abbey in the London borough of Merton. It claimed 80% relief from business rates at Merton Abbey when it purchased the gym from Virgin Active. Merton refused Nuffield Health's claim. In the Borough Council's view, looking at the activities carried on at Merton Abbey on their own, in isolation from Nuffield Health's other activities, the terms for admission to the gym appeared to exclude those of modest means, so that, in the Council's view, those activities were not charitable, because they did not satisfy one of the conditions for charitable status, namely what is called the public benefit requirement. That was so even if Nuffield's health's activities viewed overall did not exclude those of modest means from any enjoyment of them. Both the courts below rejected Merton's argument. The Deputy High Court judge and a majority of the Court of Appeal held that the requirement for rating relief that the premises be used for charitable purposes required a review of all the activities of the charity to see whether the public benefit requirement was satisfied. The judge also held that even viewed on its own, the activities at the Merton Abbey gym did not exclude those of modest means and were therefore charitable. But the Court of Appeal held, reversing the judge on that point, that viewed on their own, the activities of Nuffield Health at the Merton Abbey gym did not satisfy the public benefit requirement because the charges for using the facilities there did exclude those of modest means. Nonetheless, Nuffield Health was held to be entitled to 80% rating relief because, viewed overall, its activities did not exclude those of modest means and therefore satisfied the public benefit requirement. Both Merton and Nuffield Health appealed to this court. Merton argued, as it had below, that the question whether the premises qualified for rating relief required the application of the conditions for charitable status, including the public benefit requirement, to be tested on a review of the activities at the specific rateable premises on their own. Nuffield Health argued that even if Merton was correct about that, it should still be entitled to relief because the Court of Appeal should not have overruled the judge on the question whether the activities at the Merton Abbey gym, viewed on its own, satisfied the public benefit requirement. This court unanimously upholds the decision of the Court of Appeal that Nuffield Health is entitled to rating relief in relation to the Merton Abbey gym because it is carrying on its charitable activities there and the question whether its charitable activities satisfy the public benefit requirement has to be answered by reference to its activities as a whole. Accordingly, it has not been necessary to decide the question on which the courts below disagreed, namely whether the public benefit requirement was satisfied on a view of the activities at the Merton Abbey gym viewed on its own. Lord Sales and I give the leading judgment with which Lords Kitchen, Hamblin and Leggett agree. Our reasons are in summary as follows. This case turns upon the interaction between charity law and rating law, both essentially statutory systems of law which originated in the same session of Parliament in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I in 1601. In their current forms, they are to be found in the Charities Act 2011 and the Local Government Finance Act 1988. Where a trust or other entity is registered as a charity with the Charity Commission, it is conclusively presumed that it is a charity and therefore that all its purposes are charitable. Being established for exclusively charitable purposes is what it means to be a charity. The purposes of an entity will only be charitable if they benefit a sufficient section of the public. They will not do so if the poor, meaning people of modest means, are excluded from any significant benefit. But a charity established for purposes other than the relief of the poor, such as for education or for the promotion of health, will be capable of benefiting both the rich and the poor. The benefit which such a charity bestows on the rich 
is in furtherance of and not merely incidental to its charitable purposes, as was argued from Merton. And where a charity carries on its activities at a number of separate places, the rich may be served in some of those places and the poor in others. In yet other places, rich and poor may both be served alike. Rating relief depends upon satisfying two conditions set out in section 43 of the 1988 Act. First, the ratepayer must be a charity. Secondly, the rateable premises must be wholly or mainly used for the charitable purposes of that charity or of that and other charities. Some charities use premises for other functions, like staff accommodation, such as a clergy house, or fundraising, such as Oxfam shops. Those will only, be, only attract relief from rates if those functions directly facilitate or are wholly ancillary to the carrying out of the charitable purposes of the charity. In the present case, Nuffield Health is a registered charity. Its purposes of promoting health are therefore wholly charitable purposes. It uses the Merton Ami Gym to further those charitable purposes. Viewed as a whole, the charitable activities of Nuffield Health do not exclude the poor, whether or not they do so at the Merton Abbey Gym viewed on its own. Therefore, Nuffield Health's use of the Merton Abbey Gym qualifies for 80% charity relief from rating. The court is now adjourned. <laughs>